So some of the welds you're going to have to do in your program here, particularly your short circuit MIG weld and your 6010 open root welds, are going to require a metal prep on the beveled edge that's called a root face. Some people call it a land, but it's technically called a root face. So what I'm going to do today is show you the fastest, easiest, and most accurate way to put a root face on your bevels. Now we do have big industry, industrial standard sanders that you can do this with, but you're not always going to have an $8,000 sander to walk over to. So we're going to do it with a simple grinder, everybody has a grinder, and a file. Now, these files are a metal worker's best tool. You show me a guy that's been working metal his whole life that doesn't own a file, and he's BSing you. So, remember a couple things about the files. They only cut one way. They're like a saw. So they only cut forward. So when we're filing, we're not doing this like a saw. They only cut one way. I'm going to show you a super easy way to put these root faces on here. Prep these up, particularly for your open root butt welds. So, you saw in the other video how to put the bevel on with a line burner. We remove the mill scale with a hard grinding disc about an inch, half inch back on both sides. Now this beveled edge is sharp. That is what we call a knife edge. And sometimes for some welds, we leave it just like that. But for other welds, we need to put a root face on here. This root face is basically a heat control mechanism. So if we have one with a root face and we have the other one with no root face, the edge of this is going to burn off way faster than this one. So the general rule with a root face is the size will be determined by your welding procedure, but the general rule is the size of the root face should equal the size of the gap. So if you're using an eighth inch root face, you use an eighth inch gap. Sometimes we use an eighth inch root face in a 332 gap. We can use a 332 root face in a 16th gap. It just depends. But either way, the root faces are put on the same way, and that's what we're going to show you today. Nice sharp bevel. I'm going to start by locking this thing in. Now remember, we never want to turn this grinder into that sharp edge. We never want to turn this like that because that's when these grinding wheels will get cut and get caught and explode. We want to use our grinder this way to turn it off from the edge. When I put the root face on, I'm going to keep it completely flat. So I do not want to angle this thing into the edge. I'm going to keep this completely flat. So what I'm going to start with is just a couple runs across here with the grinder. In very important aspect, we can't do this on it. Because if you use this motion, you're going to bevel off the edges too much and the middle will be too small. So we always want to start with our grinder from one edge across. Nice, straight, smooth action. So here we go. So I get this close, I knock it down. This is my first step, I knock this thing down. And then what I do is I use a TIG filler rod. This is an eighth inch TIG filler rod. Now you can see some of this is a little bit bigger and some of it's a little bit smaller. But you always get a lip on the back side that we need to knock down. This is where the file comes into play. So I knock that back edge down. And then what I'm going to do, you can't see this, but this is going like this across there from that grinder. So what this file is going to do is make this flat and straight and true. So I'm going to cut and go across this way. And you can see the lines that are starting to form. And then I'm going to do an X pattern and I'm going to cut it across this way. And then I'm going to go back. Remember, X patterns are what makes things flat. We're cutting back and forth across there. X pattern back and forth across. 
It doesn't take that much time. I could actually do this quite a bit faster if we weren't filming. But you can start to see the grinder marks go away and you can see the little X patterns in there. Now if I look at that, I take my eighth inch filler rod and I lay my filler rod right on there and I can check this thing all the way down. And it's pretty, pretty nice. That's about an eighth of an inch. Now this one, I've already prepped, which is about an eighth of an inch. We'll flip these over and check the fit. Now that's a nice tight fit that's going to work perfect. If you have one of them that's a little weird, it has a little negative or a positive in it, you have to keep filing it flat. We'll open this up and tack it and you will be ready for your open root butt weld. Now remember, the size of the root face will be on your welding procedure that you're given to do these welds. Generally, the root face is the same size as the gap. But as you become a better welder, you'll figure out how you can use that root face gap combination to get that root pass looking just the way you want it to.